Welcome to the channel everyone. Now in this video I've been asked a lot of questions recently about what size of elastics for F1 fishing that I use in the winter time. So what I'm going to do is going to run through the three I've got with me and the three I use throughout my winter fishing, the reasons why I pick these in certain situations why I'd pick different style elastics. So but first of all, with me in the winter F1 fishing I'm still going to use some short kits where I can get away with it where I need to. This is because I like the fish popping up nice and close to you. Sometimes in the winter the fish are quite finicky and them hook are not set correctly and it's just nothing you can do about it, just not set in that time. And if the fish comes up a little bit closer, I've got always got a chance to get it with the landing net. So that's why I use a short kit. Also, you can get two spools, one spool of elastic into two top kits, nice and simple. Now, the one thing I've changed from and I've got them both on here, is I've got one with a bead still from the summertime, which I'll speak about when I go through that elastic, but I've changed over to Dacron connectors now for the winter time. Now the reason is behind this, with the bead, it's a brilliant self-hooking mechanism. It's perfect because the fish will bolt against it, it'll hook, hook in more fish when you're fishing shallow. And when you're using thicker elastics, say like the 11s, the 10s, the 11s, the 13s, even the 15s I was using with the bead, it's, it just slots into the bead nicely and it, it, there's no no bead movement on the line, on the elastic, sorry. So that's why I tend to use it with, say like the nine jaw slip and the seven jaw slip. I find it tends to move around a lot on the thing. And the last thing I want to do in the winter, you get such a limited time frame when you're fishing, you want to make the most of the chances when you can. So just a nice simple thing that's not going to cause me fuss and hassle, which I always speak up when I'm fishing, just a simple thing. So I've used gone back to using the Dacron. Now another reason why is your hands get very cold in the winter time. There's nothing really can stop this. The weather's cold, you're outside for a long time, your hands are getting wet, they're getting cold. So just nice and easy, you can use a little knot picker from Preston, which is also used in the scores as well, so it helps you, you've got best of both worlds. Just a little knot picker, flick it off, get it off there, and you're away, you've got your rig off. Or even you can leave it on your rig, on your on your top kit with the hookups. But, Let's go on to the elastics now, but yeah, I've got a short kit I like to use them where I can still. I think you still get a lot of control over it and it's still nice. So the first one, I'm going to start off with the heaviest one you use. And this one is, you've got to start thinking about this, say in the autumn time, we'll get it pre stretched Now, for this, I've got a TENS Jora Holler. So it's the green Jora Holler in the TENS. And what I'd normally do is put this in early autumn time. So I catch some fish and it gets stretched out and what you tend with this elastic, the more you use it, the softer it gets. I'm just get my mic and show. This allows you to have a bit more play with the elastic, it's not so harsh. Now, when I look to use this, is either when I'm dobbing, say up to three beds, features, open water, this is ideal for it, because it's got the power, but it's got the softness as well. And also, when you're fishing down the middle and short pole in the deep water, I like a little bit stronger elastic when the fishing's really good, just to set that hook a little bit quicker. I'll set that hook, sorry, not quicker, set it hook perfect. You've got a lot of control over the fish, you can get them fishing quickly. Like I said, I'm not trying to make you rush fish in the winter, but like a lot of the time, there's only a certain time frame you can catch these fish. So if you've got if you can get away with a heavy, little bit of heavy elastic, then that's what I'd use, and that's what I use, the tens jaw holler. Just try and get it soft, if not, just give it a play wherever you are in your garage, front room, wherever, just give it a stretch out, get something to go at the end of it and give it a good pull and it stretches out perfect. The more you use it, the softer it gets, which is ideal for the winter time. Chuck that down there. Now, the probably most elastic I use in the winter is a Nines Jora Slip. It's just a great all-round elastic. If I didn't have much Jens Jora about, I could use this Dobbin, I could use this Shell for Ride, use this on the bottom short, I could use it for Carp in certain areas, say two to three pounds sort of area. So it's a perfect elastic for an all-round basis. It's probably the one I mo use most. This is what, the, what I put in my kits the most as well. So Nines Jora Slip, perfect for hooking them F1s. It's nice and sets that hook like I always speak about, but if you're using like say 20s hooks, and I'm going to go through this in the, the vid next video, so keep an eye for this, about the hook sizes and hook patterns. So what you'll need is, say like, if you're using an 18s, you'll probably get away with, with the 10s, but if you're using the 20s, you're probably going to need a little bit softer elastic, 
and much easier to fish with but we'll go for that in the next video so keep an eye on that one so yeah number nine is an all two elastic all go round just short pole long pole up maggots across pellets across it's just a perfect elastic and a lot of time fisheries stop new fish to it as well this time of year and they're perfect for that one so that's the other one now the final one is is a sevens jaw slip now this only comes out in certain situations for me is when you're fishing for say i don't silver fish shallow this would be my go-to one so like here at western today you could catch a few eyed shallow off the bottom if you're loose feeding maggots or even some f1s as well so on a nice soft elastic the water's really clear you can see about probably two foot down on this lake today so the last, last thing you want to do is have them eye dancing around high up in the water so if you're going out fishing once again i got the dacker on there that seven straw slips perfect just glides them out the peg nice and simple but if the fishing's really tough and you need to get every bite out and you need to take your time with the fishing you're not trying to rush you say like take 15 20 pounds which, which can occur when it's really soft maybe when it's iced over as well that i'd look to use this one i'm going to set the hook i'm going to make sure i get every fish out i'm going to take my time with them play them dead softly softly until the fish come in and then we're going to take them all out so that one ideally look when you're trying to catch a few bigger silvers and you're trying to make the most of your f1s and carp fishing but still again in the short kit so they're the three elastics i use for my short for my fishing for f1s for the winter we've got the 10s jaw holler we've got the nines jaw slip and the sevens jaw slip that's the reasons why i use them i've had a lot of people ask me so there we are that's the reasons why i use them so hopefully this helps you out in catching a few more fish this winter Guys, if you like what you see don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss any future videos if you're looking for something a bit more visit mattydoesfishing.co.uk and you can see live matches in-depth methods and pegs resisted and much more on there.